Now, having looked at things like the zoom tool on the hand tool, it's worth going back to the tools panel just to take a look at some of the other areas that are of interest. When you load Illustrator for the first time, Illustrator only gives you a handful of tools to utilize. There are in fact 86 tools inside of Illustrator, but Illustrator thinks that, well, maybe you don't want to be burdened with all of those very advanced tools at first. If you wish to have access to all of them, then you can go to the window menu, go down the list to toolbars. In here, the tick tells us that we're looking at the basic tools panel and you can hover over and left click on advanced. Now notice that we see more options inside of there. Now just bear in mind that we won't be able to see all of those tools at any one time. Some of them will be hidden. So for example, if I wish to use a type tool, then I'll go across the tools panel where the capital T is. That is one of the icons that has a triangle at the lower right hand side indicating there are other type tools or tools of a similar nature that I can access by clicking and holding down the left mouse button. When the menu pops open, then you can hover across and left click on any one of the tools that you do wish to use. It's also worth noting that on the far right edge, you have what's called a tear off strip. So rather than diving in and out of these sub menus, click on the tear off strip once and it loads them into a floaty panel. Again, hover over the dark bar across the top and you can drag and move them around on screen so that you can work with your artwork and then come back to the tool that's relevant for you. And they're all in the same sort of area of Illustrator. This time, if I hover over the icon at the top right hand side, the two triangles, when I click on it, it just changed the orientation of those tools. So it's either tall or it's long. And if you hover over the X and close those down, are still available by clicking holding down on the type tool in there and you could then re-tear off those sub tools once more. Now it's also possible to change the layout of your tools panel from a single column to a double column. So right up to the top you see the two arrows up there, click on that and you get that split into two columns. The only real benefit to this is that those symbols down at the very bottom in there which relate to colour and how you apply it in your artwork are much bigger. So they're less fiddly to click on and interact with, but you can't do anything with the space underneath the tools panel. It is just dead space. So you may prefer if you wish to, to go back up to the top, click on the same symbol, top left hand side, just to take them back to a single column in there. You can hover your cursor over the dots in the upper portion of the tools panel, click and hold down the mouse and drag and pull those out. So if you wish to, they are much closer to your artwork. But again, you might find after a while, it's another thing that you've got to keep dragging around on screen. So if you wish to dock it back on the far left hand side, hover your cursor over those little dots across the top again, click and hold down the mouse button, drag towards the left hand side, and you'll have to feel like you're almost pushing that panel off the edge of the screen, at which point you'll see a tall blue highlight region. That's Illustrator's way of identifying that you can now dock this if you let go of the mouse. And when I do, it now docks it at the side of the screen in there. And in our case, then what I'll do is I'll go back up to the window menu, down to toolbars, and then go back to basic in here. You'll also note that if you wish to in the future, there is a bonus exercise in the book where you can create your own toolbar under new toolbar in there. So you can add only the tools that are relevant for you. But in our case, for now, I'm going to go back and click on basic. And that's the tools panel.